Greetings, NJRoute22.com here with our weekly vlog on the, on the supermarket and other flyers, uh, just talking about what's on sale and so on, and, and adding some sensible nuggets of information in there, real quick. So I'm gonna talk. We don't talk about Lowe's too much, but they have some a pretty good deal on something this week. Uh, we've been in the market for a six-foot ladder, and they have the Werner six-foot ladder for 39 bucks. That is really the best price. I think they might even have it for 29 bucks around Christmas time, but that, if you're in the market for a, a good ladder, this, this is the time for it. And also, speaking of grilling season here, <clears throat> see this grill? It's a char broil performance grill. I saw it at the store. And it's, it seems pretty sturdy for 169 bucks. I mean, I'm sure it won't last more than a set season or two. If well, maybe if you cover it or keep it out of the rain, it might last longer, and you clean it regularly. It seemed pretty sturdy and had a lot of surface uh, area for cooking. So if your if your current grill is on on the fritz or almost on the fritz, this this is a uh, seems like a pretty good deal. And you get free propane if you buy a tank and if you don't already have one. But most people already have one. So that's that. Let's talk about. Uh, we'll run over some other things here. It's hard to get people to watch your channel. I mean, it, it's because you're like, you have to market yourself more than creating content. It really stinks. Stop and Shop has a really good price on uh, ground beef, a buck ninety-nine a pound. I mean, that you can't beat it. Just uh, even if it's a one-off deal. I mean, if you ate it every day, every meal, you might get sick eventually. But who knows what kind of chemicals are in that meat? But. So they have a good deal, and I'm concerned about the corn. Every I think every single one of the corn cobs at major supermarkets are GMO, and they're just not good for you to eat. I would avoid it uh, like the plague. Uh, I hear it's almost impossible to get non-GMO corn now, but maybe some of our local farmers here have it. I hope so. I'm going to find out, and I'll let you guys know. And, and here's another thing, the, the s'mores. I mean, there must have been like some lobby group to get people to market s'mores. Do people eat it? Are they, what, are they over the fire? I thought it was like a winter thing over the campfire. But s'mores everywhere. Every ad has s'mores in it. I mean, that's, you couldn't put anything worse in your body. I don't care how good it tastes. But it seems to be getting a lot of coverage. And here's something interesting I noticed at Stop and Shop. Take a look. If they let you down, you get double your money back. And I'm sure there's some sort of conditions. I mean, like maybe, I, I don't know how that works. Um, it says go to the customer service uh, for details. So maybe we'll find out. I, <laughs> I can't promise you anything. And here's something else that I, I highly recommend against. This says free Heinz mustard when you buy one Heinz ketchup. Heinz ketchup is not good. It has sh t too much sugar. I think it's even high fructose corn syrup. And you don't, you don't want to deal with that. And that's all we're talking about Stop and Shop today. We're going to go right over to... The Kings here, just just to mention them because they are in the coverage area, and they're expensive though. So we try to find things that might not be so bad. Almost everything in this in this flyer is is way too expensive. But they have a couple things here this week that I can show you. It's this Murray's non-GMO chicken for a buck forty-nine a pound. That's that's good. Sale starts Friday. Uh, what's the 29th? And also they have. I've tried these at King's, the Rastelli Grass-Fed Smash Burger. That uh, They're pretty good. You gotta be careful not to overcook them because they will become tough as leather. So make them nice, medium rare. I've made them already. They have non-organic ones uh, that are chuck and, and brisket. And I, I bet you those are gonna taste better. They had a lot more fat in them too. And here we go. IGA is Bishops in White House. We support them because they're local and they're actually not such a bad supermarket and they're convenient for a lot of people. Buy one, get one free Oscar Mayer bacon. Um, if the price for the bacon is less than $7.99 each, then it's worth it. Again with the corn, I'm a little Delaware grown doesn't mean anything. I don't care where it's grown. If it's GMO, I don't want it. And I think that's it for uh, Bishops this week. Their ad is uh, very easy to read. I think it's on average it's the best because it has a lot of information as well as not too much and there's a lot of white space. So I think they have the best of the best. But now we're going to talk to shop talk about Shoprite because they are the big boys and we have to talk about them. They got great coupon deals this week. Their sale starts for don't forget Sundays and not Fridays like everybody else. Bacon 
$3.99 should be your ceiling for paying for bacon. Never pay more than that per pound, otherwise you're just wasting money. Because it's all you can always find it somewhere up at $3.99. They have a really good coupon in this week's uh, circular. Uh, a pint and a half of uh, blueberries. 18 ounces for $2.97. They may not be uh, organic, but that, that's a really good deal. You can feed a lot of people blueberries. And here again with the corn, I'm, I'm concerned. And they have the London broil again for a few more days to, till July 4th if you want to throw one of those on your grill. What else did we say? Sweden Sun, by the way, Sweden Sun was on sale at King's for a buck more. So these are good burgers. They, they're probably one of my favorites. That and Pat Lafrida. The other brands are just, because we eat our burgers plain, so you can really appreciate the taste difference between hamburgers when it's not, when there's no onions and tomato and buns. And so, trust me when, 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 when I say that the Sweden Sun, they have really fantastic flavor in the meat. Again, they got the good price on some cheeses here. The fresh Mutz logs, you know, $2.99 a pound. Cannot, that, that's just fantastic. I forgot to pick some up last week, so I can get some this week. And they got some Swiss cheese for five bucks a pound. We like uh, cheese in this family. And I think that may be it. I don't know if I made any markings here, because uh, we don't talk about the things that we don't think are good to eat, such as cereals, chips, any sugary things, most packaged goods. Uh, we make exceptions from time to time, but very rarely. Chips, I mean, it's just, you just keep shoveling them and they, they don't really do anything for you except, uh, you know, keep your mouth going. I, I don't know, I'm rarely hungry here. So when you don't, when you don't eat uh, sugar, you, you don't really get hungry. Sometimes I, I went like 28 hours in a row without eating anything. Um, and I think that's it for this week. I hope everybody has a nice July 4th. It falls on a weird day. Wednesday sucks. You can't can't even make a long weekend out of it, or some people do. I don't know, but that's it. Uh, visit the website, please. We put a lot of work and effort into it uh, to write stories that are cover a wide uh, range of topics and interests, and we try to get more businesses in there. But that's it. I hope uh, everybody, all ten people watching this, have uh, a nice weekend.